Gemini ads, Wall Street exec, new Binance delistings, and Blythe Masters weighs in on blockchain. Welcome to Ledger Mix. This is the daily show brought to you by Block Street that catches you up on the latest blockchain news. My name is Kenny Ferreira. Today is October 10th. And in our first story today, Gemini has announced this morning that they're bringing on Janine Hightower Salido, previously COO at the ISC, to help the company onboard institutions and expand its client services team. It's important to remember that alongside Coinbase, Gemini remains one of the more cautious exchanges with just three coins listed on the platform. This is a deliberate move by the Winklevoss twins to make sure their business remains within regulatory guidelines. And funny enough, this hire comes shortly after it was announced that Jonathan Kellner of Instanet will fill a similar role for Coinbase starting at the beginning of 2019. So with both of these companies bringing on key hires from the electronic trading and traditional finance worlds, it's become clear that these two exchanges in particular are determined to become a service that institutional investors can trust. Speaking of exchanges, in story number two, we found out that Binance is delisting four different coins. The coins are Bytecoin, Chatcoin, Economy, and Triggers, each of which crashed in price immediately after. Binance is the largest exchange by volume at the moment, yet it often faces criticism for charging projects astronomical fees and not providing clear criteria for project acceptance. But the thing is, people are still willing to jump through hoops for a listing on Binance because being exposed to that many users instantly adds legitimacy to any project. However, with that reward comes great risk, as a delisting like the ones announced yesterday can bring everything crashing right back down. Even though Binance's recent decision to disclose listing fees and donate them to charity is going to make things more transparent for everyone, Binance's CEO CZ might still have more power than anyone in the cryptocurrency ecosystem, and that's something the community should be wary of heading into the future. And for our final story, a report out of Bloomberg says that former JP Morgan and Chase executive Blythe Masters believes that blockchain can fundamentally change commodity markets. In a gathering Tuesday night, she said supply chains are notoriously complex and inefficient. This is especially true in the metals and mining industry, where many operational and commercial practices remain inefficient and antiquated, leading to critical data omissions, security vulnerabilities, expenses, corruption, and unethical prominence. This comes right after the launch of the IBM Food Trust platform, which has recruited big players like Walmart to ensure food safety for consumers. As Masters is now CEO of Digital Asset Holdings, a New York-based tech startup building distributed ledger projects, it seems clear that one of the company's focuses will be providing established institutions supply chain solutions. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and listening. If you watch this as a video on YouTube, Twitter, or Instagram, make sure to follow us and let us know in the comments what you thought about today's show. If you listen to this as a podcast, make sure to leave us an iTunes review because that will also help I'll be with you again tomorrow. See you then.